Hello, Grand Prairie. 2022 was another successful year for Grand Prairie, and on behalf of my council colleagues, I'm pleased to highlight these successes in our 2022 annual report. The year brought a return to many parts of what makes our community a great place to live, work, and play. The reopening of many recreational amenities and the addition of new amenities. The return of our calendar of annual events, plus many new additions. Ongoing investment in major capital projects and infrastructure improvements, as well as several key community engagements to gather valuable resident feedback on council decision making. To help achieve this, council approved the 2022-25 strategic plan early in the year. And this guide guides council and the city administration on decisions that are made through the course of our term. Council's overarching priority is a plan to improve our quality of life. Focus on ensuring Grand Prairie remains a place where all current and future residents want to live, learn, work and play. Here are some of the highlights of how this looked in 2022. The pipes are fixed, the streets are done and we are so excited to welcome our community downtown for Experience GP. This weekend has beer gardens, family entertainment, live music, a scavenger hunt through the downtown core. It's the city partnering with businesses, partnering with the community to celebrate how awesome a place Grand Prairie is to live our life, raise our family, and be with our friends. Events like this are so important to Council, and we're thankful for the wonderful facilities, the innovative staff, and the dedicated businesses and volunteers we have to make events like this happen. These aren't just about quality of life for our residents, but they're also about making sure that Grand Prairie is an attractive place for people to move to work or to visit to spend their tourist dollars at. These are about our quality of life for the people of Grand Prairie and about fueling our economy. Hello everyone, I'm down here at the Activity and Reception Centre in Grand Prairie. It's a major highlight of 2022. Officially opening its doors in January with a grand opening celebration in April. The Activity and Reception Centre has been a welcome new addition to the community. Located in the Smith subdivision, it provides access in areas of town previously without rec facilities. The facility offers recreation and leisure amenities and programming with a focus on youth drop-in opportunities and activities with limited opportunity to play at other venues. Activities available include basketball, pickleball, badminton, disc golf, rock climbing, roller skating, and skateboarding, as the facility houses the mobile skateboard park indoors for the winter. Private rentals of the facility and meeting room rentals are also available to support community groups and organizations. Additionally, the facility is designed to serve as a reception center for the city response to a large-scale emergency or disaster. Construction of the activity and reception center was made possible through the Federal Investing in Canada Infrastructure Program COVID-19 Resilience Stream. Council is thrilled about the new addition to our community. As another way, we are able to promote an active lifestyle to support quality of life for all residents to live, work and play in Grand Prairie. We welcome all residents to visit and enjoy the new facility. Community engagement is really important to the City of Grand Prairie. By welcoming our residents to take part in the decision-making process, by engaging in meaningful conversation, we can build a community for us all to enjoy. In 2022, the City held more than 10 such public engagement projects, including a resident satisfaction survey, a Richmond Park industrial revitalization and stormwater management. We also included businesses and residents in our snow and ice review. Uh, this included online surveys, an online questionnaire, uh, two focus groups and a town hall. Snow removal and ice control are important services in any winter city. So make sure that we can get to work or school, that we can access emergency services, uh, that we can run errands or visit friends and family. The city is looking forward to incorporating your input into the snow and ice review to build great policy and a good community. Yeah, welcome everyone to the, uh, the Grand Prairie's newest bike attraction, the Crystal Park Bike Park. We're uh, 
council and I'm sure the neighborhood is excited to see a brand new outdoor activity for all, all ages. Uh, city's pretty proud of this, so we worked with the community to, to find out what they wanted and, and then managed to lever some federal money to make this happen. Uh, we've only spent 60000 the federal government from the gas tax uh, contributed another 240000 so we made a very um, effective and an enjoyable uh, facility uh, to improve the quality of life in Grand Prairie and we're pretty proud of what we've got and the exercise and entertainment that it's going to bring our youth uh, throughout the city. Across 2022, the city has held a variety of events to support local business and attract investors to grow our economy. The events include opportunities we hosted in Edmonton and Calgary to showcase the investment potential in our region across our province, as well as invest GP mixers with our local business community. The Invest GP mixers are a chance for businesses and council to connect to discover current issues, projects and ideas. We've been very pleased to welcome 35 to 50 people at each event, as you can tell from the sounds behind me. Hosting events like the Invest GP mixers help support council's strategic priorities of engaging relations and innovative efficiencies and economic readiness. They've been a wonderful opportunity for conversation with our stakeholders to build shared success together while ensuring we are building a strong economy ready for new investment opportunities. We're very thankful for all the connections we've made through our Invest GP events this past year and look forward to strengthening them and building more in the future. And we encourage you to come on out and join with us and share your ideas because we are better together. One of the largest projects completed in 2022 was the city's transit redesign, introducing new routes and schedules for the first time in over 10 years. The redevelopment was implemented to match the growth and technological developments in the city so we can deliver better transit services to our residents with increasing efficiency. The new system features three levels of service delivery. The goal of the redesign is to provide enhanced service to key destinations, provide routes and service options that are more direct and easier to understand, to reduce travel time and increase ridership. The transit redesign is one of the many ways we are supporting Council's strategic priorities of building inclusive and caring communities that serve all the public. It is on the move to better connect residents around Grand Prairie with enhanced connectivity and improved service to work, live and play. We're thankful for the patience and cooperation of our riders and operators for making this transition possible as we introduce this major change. We're additionally thankful for the community feedback we've received on this redesign, which has been used to make adjustments to better meet riders' needs and modify the rider's guide based on our ongoing learnings. City Council looks forward to ongoing improvements and enhancements to this vital service in our community. This year, the City of Grand Prairie received a Rural Renewal Stream Community designation through the province's Alberta Advantage Immigration Program to help fill local labour gaps. Grand Prairie was the second location to receive this designation and the largest in Alberta. The Rural Renewal Stream is an innovative opportunity to work with local employers to endorse immigrant job seekers and fast track them to permanent residency. The designation provides an opportunity for employers who are having difficulties finding candidates who are qualified to fill a given position to hire a candidate with temporary status in the community that the business wouldn't otherwise be able to hire under current federal or provincial temporary worker programs. The Rural Renewal Stream supports Council's strategic priority of innovative efficiencies and economic readiness by helping us offer a competitive advantage for attraction and retention with a global workforce, supporting a strong economy and investment opportunities. It additionally is a demonstration of our strategic priority of engaging relationships as we work in partnership with the provincial government, local businesses, and community stakeholders to build long-term success out of this opportunity. Receiving this designation is a testament to Grand Prairie's reputation as a welcoming and entrepreneurial community. We are proud to be part of this program to draw newcomers and support local businesses, building a strong and resilient economy. 
Canada Day is important for all of our citizens here in Grand Prairie because it's a time where we can celebrate being equal, that we're all human underneath the same lens, that we all have a diverse background, we all have our own culture, which we come from. But here in Canada, here in Canada, we're all welcome and everyone's accepted, especially here in Grand Prairie. It's the best time of the year to celebrate not just being a Canadian, but being here on the planet Earth and celebrating our humanity together. Down here at Muskocipi Park, we have events and activities. We have a little carnival. We have live entertainers. There's free swimming down at the pool. So much stuff happening down here, including Council's giving out free birthday cake right now to celebrate Canada's 155th birthday. Thank you, Grand Prairie, for making all of these successes possible and being part of our vibrant, growing community. We're thankful for all of our 2022 highlights and look forward to all that 2023 brings. To view the full annual report, visit us online at cityofgp.com forward slash annual report.